Hi, I'm Adam from Vauxhall, and I'm here to show you some of the fantastic gadgets that New Crossland has to offer. So let's climb inside and have a look around. Some versions of the Crossland are fitted with a winter pack, featuring heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. Perfect for keeping you warm on those cold, frosty mornings. The heated front seats are activated using the buttons here within the heater controls. There are three levels of heating indicated by the lights on the buttons themselves. The heated steering wheel can be switched on and off using this button on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Whilst on the subject of being comfortable behind the wheel, all new Crosslands are fitted with air conditioning as standard. Some models have dual zone electronic climate control, which enable you to set two different temperatures on either side of the cabin. The controls for both can be found here. For climate control, just press the auto button in the center of the fan speed control. Set the temperature you want and it will adjust the fan speed, air conditioning and heater to your chosen temperature. The new Crossland has cruise control and speed limiter fitted as standard. Cruise control is operated and set using these controls on the left hand side of the steering wheel, making motorway cruising more comfortable. Press the cruise control button here, drive up the speed you want and then flick the thumb wheel down to set the speed. A quick dab of the brakes will pause cruise control. To reactivate it, you can push the thumb wheel up or to deactivate it again, you can press this button here. The speed limiter helps you to avoid creeping above the speed limit on any long motorway journeys and also through any temporary speed limit areas. Turn it on using the button next to the cruise control and use the thumb wheel once more to set your chosen speed and then activate it by using this button. You can pause it by pressing this button and turn it off entirely by pressing this one. The digital instrument cluster is found here between the dials in front of the driver. As well as your total mileage and trip information, it can show your speed and speed limit via the speed sign recognition system. Using the rotary control on the left-hand steering wheel stalk, you can adjust the menu to show your fuel economy, average speed and range. If your Crossland also has satellite navigation, you can see this by selecting it from the menu. Some versions of the Crossland come with rear or front and rear parking sensors, which alert you to any obstacles near the car. Should you wish to, you can turn them on and off using this button here. If your Crossland comes with a panoramic rear view camera, the view is shown on the central display here when you select reverse gear, making parking super easy. The Crossland comes with a number of safety features as standard. There is lane departure warning, which provides an audible warning should you accidentally drift out of your lane. Should you wish to do so, you can turn this feature on and off by pressing this button here. There is also a speed sign recognition system, which shows a reminder of the road's speed limit. It's located here in the driver instrument cluster in front of the driver. For further peace of mind, selected Crossland models are fitted with Vauxhall Connect, which works in conjunction with the My Vauxhall smartphone app. Vauxhall Connect can help you avoid traffic jams or to report a breakdown. The e-call button immediately connects the driver to a trained advisor. If the airbags or seatbelt tensioners deploy in the event of an accident, it will immediately contact the emergency services. To connect your phone via Bluetooth, make sure your mobile phone Bluetooth is on. Then press the phone button here on the infotainment system. Then press search to connect your phone. Then select your phone when it comes up on the screen and it will be ready to pair. Alternatively, you can search in your phone's Bluetooth menu and search for Vauxhall Crossland. All new Crosslands come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as standard, and they can be accessed by using this button here. Just connect your phone using a USB cable via the USB port at the bottom of the dashboard, just in front of the gear lever. Some Crossland models are fitted with a satellite navigation system. To access it, all you need to do is press the nav button here. Press the menu button and you're able to enter your destination address or search for points of interest, such as your local Vauxhall retailer, supermarkets, petrol stations, or car washes. 
Some versions of the new Crossland have wireless charging for your smartphone. If your phone has this function, to charge it, simply place it on the contactless charging pad just in front of the gear lever. There is also a USB port and a 12 volt socket here for any additional charging needs. That's it for this video. For more helpful owner's information, you can check out our Crossland Basics video. You can also find more videos on your infotainment system or Vauxhall Connect via the Vauxhall website, our YouTube channel, or via your MyVoxhall account. I hope you enjoy your new Crossland. Thank you.